Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best noise cancelling wireless Bluetooth headphones on the market. This is the Sony WH-1000XM5 and we're going to be comparing them against the Bose QC45. Both headphones have a pretty big name in the Bluetooth wireless headphone department, but which pair of headphones is best for you. Both headphones are in the premium section of wireless Bluetooth headphones. The QC45s were released in September of 2021 and can be purchased in the black color you see here or in the white smoke color. The QC45s can be purchased for 300 29 US dollars on Amazon. The XM5s were released in May of 2022 and can be purchased in black as well, but they also can be purchased in the silver color. Now the XM5s can be purchased for 398 US dollars on Amazon, but I do expect the XM5s to go on sale regularly. Both headphones can be found in the description below with real-time prices if interested. As far as structure goes, neither of the headphones feel cheap at all and neither should be a problem for people with larger heads. The QC45s are the next generation headphones to the QC35. Now the QC45 has primarily kept the tradition of the QC35 using plastic style arms, synthetic leather, the clicking mechanism to adjust the headphones and cushion at the top to assist with comfort. The Sony XM5s have been completely redesigned from its predecessor. They kept the cushion at the top of the headphones, but the headphones look a lot more like the Bose noise canceling 700s or the AirPods Max headphones. The XM5s now use telescoping arms where they used to use the clicking mechanism. They're now using soft fit leather and the ear cups have been made deeper and wider to fit a variety of ears. Now the headphones do not fold as they did with the XM4. Something a lot of people do not pay attention to is the way the headphones rest around your neck. Now the Sony XM5s used to lay with the open area down. They now lay with the open area up which will allow for anything to go inside the headphones while resting now i know you can easily take them off and flip it around but that's now an extra step. Both headphones are very comfortable to listen to for extended listening sessions and the clamping force is almost non-existent as well. Fatigue at the top of the head is minimal thanks to the cushions we previously discussed. The Sony XM5s weigh about 250 grams and the QC45s weigh about 240 grams, which is really light for headphones. The QC45s use synthetic leather and tilt the ear cups 15 degrees to ensure comfort while listening to the headphones. The XM5 use soft fit leather and provide an abundance of space in the ear cup to provide the same comfort. The QC45 has a nice carrying case. Now the case has a smaller footprint and that's primarily due to the fact that the QC45 folds in a more smaller or compact way. There's also a ton of room on the side for miscellaneous items. Now the XM5 case does have the ability to collapse into a thinner case when the headphones are not inside, which will help to save space when needed. The XM5 carrying case is very similar to the noise canceling 700 case on the inside, with a small compartment at the top for cables. Both cases do the job they were intended to do very well, which is protect the headphones while not in use. Battery life on the QC45s is really good. Now the advertised battery life on the QC45 is 24 hours, but I've personally seen my QC45s exceed that number quite a few times. The most battery I've seen on the QC45s was right about 26 hours, which is really good and should last you quite a while before you need to recharge your headphones. The XM5s have an advertised battery life of 30 hours, which is the same advertised battery life on the XM4 headphones. Now the XM5s are a brand new pair of headphones, but I've personally seen my XM5s last right about 32 hours before it ran out of battery. Now both have solid battery life, but 30 hours can certainly be very useful. Quick charge is a feature that's available for both headphones. Now a 15 minute quick charge will get you three hours of play back time with the QC45. Now this is great, but the XM5 has been updated with a three minute quick charge, giving you the same three hour playback time when on the go. I would not recommend working out in either of these particular sets of headphones. Neither provide any type of IP rating and neither stick to your head tight enough to even recommend light gym use. The XM5s and the QC45s go about controlling the headphones in completely different ways. The XM5s utilize gestures, swipe up, down, left, right, and etc. Now the QC45s go back to the original way of doing things by using actual buttons. Now this pretty much comes down to preference 
Performance, both do a great job at controlling the headphones and both charge via USB-C which is a great thing. Both headphones allow you to listen to your music without a charge. Now you also get the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with the 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cables with the XM5. You get the 2.5 millimeter headphone jack with the 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter cables with the QC45. Replacing the cables on the XM5 will be a lot easier to do than the QC45. Some of the primary features within the XM5 include the adaptive sound control, which will adjust the noise cancellation based on what you are doing. You can connect multiple devices at a time. The ability to control how much noise you want to allow in the headset. You can even change it to only focus on voices. This way, you don't have to worry too much about other sounds if you're somewhere like a train station or an airport. Speak to chat stops the music when you start talking and allows for you to have a conversation without having to take the headphones off or any other physical movement. The XM5 has an equalizer that allows you the ability to make fine-tuned adjustments. You also have the ability to save multiple custom settings to switch back and forth with ease. DSEE Extreme rebuilds audio that's been lost during digital compression. You have the option to use the Google Assistant, Alexa, or the Assistant on your device. Now, if you're on an iOS device, the Google Assistant is not available. The ability to quickly access the Spotify tap feature if you use Spotify. You can also allow the headphones to turn off automatically after a certain amount of time so you don't lose battery. Sony has included a sensor that recognizes when you take off the headphones and automatically stops the music for you. Sony also has a feature called quick attention where if you place your hand on the right ear cup, it will lower the music and allow you to answer short questions in a pinch. Some of the key features within the QC45 include the quiet mode and aware mode feature that allows you to choose whether you want to cancel the noise entirely or allow the noise to enter. The ability to switch between two devices, the ability to adjust the sound as needed via the built-in equalizer. Now this is a feature that was made available via a software update. Allow the headphones to remember your quiet mode or aware mode settings, the ability to hear how your voice sounds so you're not yelling on a call. The ability to allow the headphones to turn off when you want them to. The XM5 headphones have the ability to support SBC, AAC, and LDAC. Now, LDAC is Sony's proprietary Bluetooth codec that supports a bit rate up to 990 kilobits per second. The QC45, on the other hand, uses SBC and AAC, which should cover the majority of devices. iOS, iPadOS, and macOS uses AAC, so if you have any of those devices, this should be plenty. The QC45s use Bluetooth 5.1, while the XM5 uses Bluetooth 5.2. Now, Bluetooth 5.2 offers more secure connections while consuming less power and gives more connectivity range between two devices. Now, with all that being said, let's see how the XM5 call quality, noise cancellation, sound leakage, and transparency compared to the QC45 in the real world. All right, guys, so this is a test of the Bose QC45 call quality in a quiet environment. All right guys, so this is a test of the Sony XM5 call quality in a quiet environment. All right guys, so this is a test of the Bose QC45 call quality in a simulated noisy cafe. All right guys, so this is a test of the Sony XM5 call quality in a simulated noisy cafe. All right, so this is a test of the Bose QC45 call quality in a simulated airplane cabin. All right, so this is a test of the Sony XM5 in a simulated airplane cabin. All right, guys, so this is a test of the Bose QC45 transparency mode. All right, guys, so this is a test of the transparency mode on the Sony XM5. Quiet. Quiet.
So what do you guys think? I think we have a new king when it comes to call quality. The QC45s are definitely in the top tier when it comes to calls, but not in the same league of the XM5s. The background literally went quiet when the XM5s realized a call was in progress. Now there's also the noise canceling 700 and the AirPods Max headphones that have dominated the call quality section. We will be placing the XM5 against them as well. Stay tuned. As far as noise canceling, Sony and Bose are in the top three when it comes to wireless noise canceling headphones. The QC45 pulled ahead in the simulated airplane cabin test. The QC45 also pulled ahead in the simulated noisy cafe test as well. The transparency test shows that both headphones can deliver excellent results. Now the QC45 was a bit brighter, but the XM5 headphones have a couple of features that make transparency very efficient. The quick attention feature allows you to place your hand over the right ear cup and take care of a situation on the fly. And the speak to chat feature allows you to have a full fledged conversation without any physical activity needed at all. As far as sound leakage, the test you just heard was conducted at 50% volume at approximately 24 inches away. Now this is perfect for a plane setting, a train setting, or for people that work in close proximity. The XM5s did a better job at containing the music in the ear cup. Our next section will allow you to sample the music we have here using our binaural microphones. This is where you'll need those headphones. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. The Sony XM5s were at the default setting and the Bose QC45s were at zero highs, zero mids, and zero lows. Now this was to ensure the test was conducted as fair as possible. Now Bose is using volume optimized active EQ, which means the music is adjusted based on the volume you are listening at. Now some people like this and some people don't, but I believe both headphones can benefit greatly from the EQ provided in the apps but I believe this is more so the case with the Sony XM5s. In my opinion, there's way too much low end on the XM5 with the default settings. Now I love bass, but once you go in the app and adjust the EQ, you'll find that the XM5 is a lot more clear 
and detailed. The QC45s are a neutral pair of headphones and they come neutral out the box. See, Bose took their time to adjust the headphones to what they believe was best for the average user. They actually take the time to ensure the music isn't too high or too low, which makes them a really good set of headphones for things like video editing. Going inside the app and adjusting the highs, mids, and lows is more of a bonus for the QC45s where it is a necessity for the XM5. I've been playing around with the Sony EQ and these are the settings that I'm using as of the making of this video. Now, sound is very subjective, but feel free to give this EQ setting a try and let me know what you guys think. Now, if you have a different tune for the XM5s that you would like to share, feel free to let us know in the comments below. If you are the type of person that wants a neutral pair of active noise canceling wireless Bluetooth headphones, don't really want to deal with EQ settings and so forth, want the headphones to sound exactly how they should sound out the box, or if you want a pair of headphones that fold easier and more compact for travel, or if you want a pair of headphones that have excellent noise cancellation, then the Bose QC45s definitely deserve your consideration. However, if you are looking for a deep punchy bass that can be fine tuned to whatever style of music you listen to, a pair of headphones with features that would definitely keep them relevant for years to come, a pair of headphones that will allow you to adjust the noise cancellation as needed, the Sony XM5s are definitely a pair of headphones that deserve your consideration and may be the right pair of headphones for you.